Anyways, we're going to play a game in Anger. We'll give her a go. Um, that 90 millimeter upper belt, though, I feel like is probably the thing. What's up, Lu uh, what's up, Luxter? The uh, the thing that most people are overlooking. Um, I remember looking at it on Siegfried and kind of scratching my head around it, like, what is this? What good is this for? But when you started to play Siegfried a little bit, you realized it makes her much more resilient to heavy cruisers uh, than you than you than you think it's going to. It really makes a difference when you angle to a heavy cruiser. The one ship that, that I ran into that I fought with this thing kind of one on one that pissed me off was the Hindenburg. Uh, because he can just he, he just spams HE and pens it right through my superstructure in my deck and just laughs all the way to the bank. And that was really irritating. It wasn't Jack I could do about it, basically. All right, so we're mid-tier. Tier 9, typical. Um, Rune, Alaska, Smolensk, Goliath, Donskoy. We have an extra destroyer. They have an extra cruiser. Both teams on five battleships. Teutonic, you like Drake? Good. Uh, Drake is not a bad ship. She really isn't. I just don't feel like the top end of the British cruiser line is worth the pain it takes to get there. That's me. I'm I'm weird like that. All right. I always said if there's a way to go, it would have something to do with women, whips, and oil. We've got a Mizzou here, a North Carolina here, Massachusetts in the middle, Vladivostok in the middle, Jambar down south. I'm gonna run down south. I'm gonna run down south and back up the Jambar and the Smolensk down at B, and we're gonna make general nuisances of herself. Well, I, I agree with you, Jimmy, to the point where I've 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 done nasty things to battleships at, at like close and medium range in this ship that I didn't think I was gonna be able to get away with. Um, however, at longer ranges, she, she does she does melt pretty hard to HE spam. So it's it, you kind of have to play kind of have to play the ship. I don't want to say the right way because that's that implies there's a right and a wrong way, but like. You have to play her with your. If you can play her with head on a swivel, let's say that. Good throaty German horn like that. Yeah, Teutonic. Like I don't feel like the high end of the the, the British cruiser line. The ships are very attractive in general. I'm just. I'm not a huge fan. But Drake is okay. Uh, Goliath looks like a box truck mounted to a ship hull. She's weird looking. The ship's just um, just kind of very disconcerting, almost. Hample, six kilometers. And they're it's a quad launcher, and they've got pretty good angles on them, right? So, yeah. Odin's Odin's torps are quad launchers as well, but they're the same, they're, it's the same German cruiser torps you get on every German cruiser, on Tirpitz, on Scharnhorst, they're six kilometers. Spey remains the outlier with the eight kilometer torps at tier six. One of the fun things that I really like about this ship is I get cruiser dispersion on these 305s. And you can see, you'll see some really ridiculous, ridiculous hits on occasion. One of the things that I don't have on this captain yet that I really need is expert loader. I find myself wanting to switch to the HE fairly commonly and am unable to do. All right, the Missouri's turning. So let's show him some love. Feel the love. Yeah, I got that shot for free. That's pretty cool. And I shorted it. Only one pen. I'm going to have time to get another one off before he leaves. Let's see if I can do a better job with this follow-up salvo. I think he's going to be just out of range of those. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. That one I did not get for free. Speaking of Goliath, that's almost a ship that I don't want to go deal with, right? Because he'll just pen my deck all day long, and I just don't know that I want to deal with him. You're about you're gonna turn. You're gonna turn, aren't you, Donskoy? I'll take the shot anyway. Two full-on battleships down here, plus the Goliath. I don't know that I like this. I don't know that I like these odds. I just, I just don't, kids. Part of me, I also really don't want to deal with the Goliath. The Goliath is going to sit down here and try and farm the Jambar all day, 
or the or the small ones, one or the other, and probably do a pretty good job of it if we're honest. Gonna be a bit of a troll. We're gonna run down to the J line and just see what we can do. Our team is basically a won't cap won't cap C and has abandoned this Missouri to die by himself at D. Where's the other Missouri? Oh, yeah. No, that's their... They have two Missouris, not ours. We don't have two Missouris. Oh, hi, Donskoy. Hi, Donskoy. How you doing? What is this buffalo doing? Are they going to kill each other? I think they're going to kill each other. This is a terrible trade. Buffalo, why did you make this trade? Ugh, you're still dead. Like, you're going to die. Nothing can stop that now. All right. Ooh, we got a Smolensk over here, do we? We got a small boy. Let's see if I can Citadel him with these guns. Oh, we lost sight. Oh, yeah, the Buffalo was the one spotting him. I'm definitely not going to push against a Smolensk and a Bismarck and a Goliath. That's just not going to happen. This Missouri doesn't know that I'm here yet, though, so that's something as he turns into the middle of the map. going to know in a minute. Got his attention. Didn't get a whole lot out of him, though. Oh, there's the small boy. How you doing, small boy? Two ricochets. Seems okay. Come on, guns. I need you to reload for the Mizzou. There's a good solid hit. This could hurt a little bit. This is going to hurt a lot, I think. Ah, that could have been worse. Let's try our hand at the small ones while the secondaries work over the Missouri. And now we've lost everybody. Eh, probably time to turn around. Alright, Team Up North is doing good work. Let's not push too hard. There's no need for us to be here and get dead. We're going to turn around. Uh, Ezra, these are 11.5 kilometer secondaries. I'm trying to check. I'm making sure. Yes, 11.5 kilometer secondaries. So now, my secondaries can actually hit this Bismarck, presuming I can get them over the island. We are going to back off, though. There's no need for us to be up here right now. Yeah, max, max secondary build with this guy is 11 and a half, and that's where I'm at. They don't seem to want to fire over this island. I guess they figure they can't hit. I'll wait for this Bismarck. This Bismarck's angling in closer. I'll wait for them to get a little closer. I'm not going to have a good damage game, I don't think, with this game. But I do feel like I'm at least impacting the game. That's exactly right, Skyring. The secondary range is nearly as large as my detection radius. Oh good, my secondaries woke up. Finally. Not bad. 7k, let the secondaries work him over some. It's a good thing for me this... Ooh, 12k, that's a good hit. It's a good thing for me the Smolensk has no idea how to aim. We're about to kill this Bismarck. That's going to feel pretty good. Now you got no spotters, small boy. Now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? Now I'm going to go push this Smolensk. I think. I feel like pushing him. 
I should be able to do that. His smoke's going to be out soon. He doesn't have anybody spotting for him. And my secondary should chew him up. Let's go give it a shot. Let's go give this a shot. Yeah, it's just him up there. I'm going to go back up here. We're going to go straight up the two line. Go back behind this island. This island's been good cover, allowing me to maneuver down here. I like this. This this play has worked out. Uh, it's not going to be the best damage game I've ever had, but it actually is actually nice. Yes, SAT. I was talking about that with some of my clanmates earlier, right? The German secondaries, once the IFHE changes go through, the, all the German secondaries are actually going to get a little buff, which I can't. I'm not really upset about them if I'm 100 honest. I feel like that's 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 awesome. All right. All right, small boy. Let's see where you're at. Can you spot me? Are you running? Nope, you must have run north. Oh, you're smoking up there. All right, that's fine. You do you, buddy. Oh, hello. I'll give you a free look, but you only get one. Um, they shouldn't. I don't know, actually. I'd honestly, I'd have to, I'd have to run the numbers, Ducky. They've made so many changes with these, uh, with the, um, the way the IFE changes are gonna work. They aren't gonna work. What's changing? How it's changing? I've honestly, I've, almost, I've honestly just kind of, kind of given up trying to keep track of it all. When it re, when the patch notes come in, I'll figure it out. Until then, it just seems like a giant waste of my time to try to wrap my brain around it. I've thought about putting out a video once the patch notes post next week. But uh, in the interim, I doubt I'm going to mess with it. What's really funny about this, he doesn't, his, his, that 103 millimeter AP is not going to pin my upper belt. He's either shattering or he's losing those shells somehow. There we go. Now he's finally realized he needs to be switching to the AP or the HE. Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. I'm aiming these guns pretty poorly though, but he's running out of places to run. There's a good hit. There we go. Secondary's got him lit. He's going to struggle a bit now. I'm going to let my secondaries finish him off. Nice hit on the NorCal. Oh, the Missouri's still alive? Who thought this was an okay idea? And you're burned down. Thank you. And now we switch secondaries to North Carolina. <laughs> Do I want a cap? Nah, let's kill everybody. Oh, the Jutland with his little AP shells. You're so cute. And there that went. What is up, DBF? So that turned out to be a pretty little decent game in Ager. Like, not my best game, but not my worst. But you kind of you kind of get to sit like, sh like she doesn't want to deal with battleships. <laughs> She's still a cruiser, but against other cruisers, uh, she can definitely be a bully. I'm curious. I want to see how well or how well how not well the. Oh, it is way better than Siegfried data. Like, there's no question here. 
this ship is significantly better than Siegfried. I took more out of the AP. How much did the small... I feel like the small Smolensk AP wasn't doing much. He got more damage out of it than I was expecting him to. I'm really surprised at that. 25,000 damage out of that AP. I wouldn't have expected that to work. Um, huh. Maybe he knows something about that upper belt that I don't. I would have expected the 130s to shatter on that upper belt.